Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we'll see how to add rows to a table using the insert statement. We'll start by creating a table with a similar structure to the employees table. Notice we've made the job column mandatory. That'll be important later. If we query the table, we can see there are no rows at the moment. The simplest version of the insert statement doesn't specify the columns to be inserted. It assumes the values are specified in the correct column order and no column values have been omitted. As a result, this is dangerous in application code as adding a column to the table will break the statement. Specifying a column list is much safer as a statement won't break if optional columns are added to the table. An explicit column list also allows you to remove optional columns from the statement and swap the positions of columns in the statement. In this example, we've removed the manager ID, commission and department ID columns and we've moved the employee ID column to the end of the column list. Remember, missing out mandatory columns is not allowed unless you have column default values or triggers which populate them. In this example, the job column is omitted which is a mandatory column in the Employees 2 table. For the next example, we need to create a simple view against the base table. We can quite happily insert into the base table associated with a view. You won't see it very often, but we can also insert into inline views. This can be used to control the column list for an insert, rather than using an explicit column list. It's possible to create multiple rows with a single insert statement using the insert select syntax. This statement copies all the data from the employees table into the employees 2 table. We can see 14 rows have been created. The column list in the insert statement must match the select list. Normal rules apply for the query portion of the statement. You can filter the data or join to other tables to gather information. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description box. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more.